Oh. Interesting. Okay. Hi! <laughs> I am your lovely host, Innocent, and welcome to This is the Police 2. Ba -da -ba. <laughs> I actually reached out to the game company that this is behind, in which I forgot the name of because my memory is a piece of shit. Um, THQ Nordic. Nordic? Nordic? Yes. I reached out to them and asked if I could possibly get a copy of a game to totally play on my YouTube channel because I do YouTube videos. And you know what? They said yes. <laughs> so thank you so much. This isn't sponsored or anything. They just sent it to me and were just like, hey, yeah, you can have a copy. Here you go, bitch. <laughs> so thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I, I know I'm a nobody in comparison to all of the YouTube personalities that are out that are out here that do like games and things so I don't know it's nice <laughs> it's nice to be appreciated um this style of video I'm going to be doing today is more like light editing because this is a very like story intensive game and I didn't play the first one unfortunately because I didn't know it existed I saw another youtuber playing this and decided you know what why not why not play play too it, sounds, it looks looks interesting and things. It's a tactics puzzle visual novel type kind of game. So we might be here for a while. <laughs> At approximately one in the morning, the Sharpwood Police Department received an ominous call. The source said he knew where we could find the headquarters of the Neckties, a gang of drug traffickers that recently arrived in town. Anonymous information is rarely reliable, but for Sheriff's well. Sheriff Wells? Okay. Shutting down the neckties was the department's primary goal, so he immediately went to the address indicated, along with two other op officers for backup. I can speak English, I swear, I'm a voice actor, hello? <laughs> okay, so t move closer. Uh, behind the generator. Got it. I should be reading what it's being said here. Hide behind the logs. A cop can spend two actions on movement. If a cop runs into a criminal, a cop halts. Okay. Fair enough. Wait, does it... Don't stick your head out. Oh, oh, oh. It's more difficult to hit a person behind... Okay, you got it. Basically, if there's people with guns, hide. Okay, suspect's turn. Got it. Oh, he's coming close. Do, do they even know we're here? No. Okay. That's uh, interesting. Okay. Turn two. Got it. Got it. Uh, right here. So. If an enemy spots you, he'll raise the alarm. Blah, blah, blah. But I'll have time to do the thing. Stun the criminal. When the criminal with the baton. Okay. Roger. Boop. Get closer. Arrest him. Ooh, okay, fun, fun, fun. On the ground! He's handcuffed. Uh, approach from the other side. Okay, got it. Perhaps one of the criminals. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's their turn now. Indeed, he is patrolling behind there. Go run the obstacle. Lookout has disappeared. Okay. Oh. There he is. Shoot with a taser? Okay. Tase him! Get ready for the arrest. Okay. It's fine. He's tased. He's down. Enemies can not only see you, but hear you if the offender sees you. Okay. Roger, Dodger! Uh, sun grenades. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, that's not. That's pepper spray. Sun. Hi, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so they're stunned for a number of four turns. Got it. Arrest them! On the, On the ground, bitch! Hide behind the railroad. R railroad car? Railroad car. Got it. 
Roger, Dodger. Why didn't you just like take a step forward? Arrest him! Get on the ground! <laughs> well, uh, we, ar we arrested them. Okay. Go to the window! To the wall! To the sweat drop down my balls! Oh. Hey bitch, we're moving closer to you. How's it going? How you doing? Hey. Taking taking down the door with Yeah. Battering ram, hell yeah. There we go. Just fucking kick down the door, Jesus. Shoot him! I can only shoot in the hand, that's fine. Shot him in the head! He's alerted! He's running! Jump the window? Okay. Roger. Roger, Dodger. <laughs> Okay, she could open the window. This one isn't as smart and has to fucking smash open the window, even though there's a fucking open door here, bitch. Oh, <laughs> just fucking wait your turn. Take position. Take out the door. Can't do. He has some good kicking legs. Oh. Oh, the oh they're all going in. Oh, oh, somebody's dead. Somebody is dead. I don't know who, but somebody is dead. November 21st. <laughs> I have to click. I didn't see that. But Hi. today, I wasn't so lucky. I mean, it wasn't just a regular funeral, was it? No, Sharpwood showed up. Can you imagine? Uh, I had a teacher, Mrs. Dawson. I haven't seen her oh, since this courier is if she'd moved or died. Oh, I mean, sweetie. It's not easy to lose track of someone in this town, right? And today I'm looking at her in the crowd all This boy talks when help. nervous, obviously. Imagine, right? And the crowd was huge. It wasn't even a crowd, more like a whole river of people. I mean, you look at all of them and you can't even see the end. All the roads were blocked. Just thinking. <laughs> It's weird. There's this dead guy who's making it so an alive guy can't get his groceries on time, right? <laughs> oh, he's I, so nervous. I just wanted to say, I, uh... You okay, baby? You good? I really respect Sheriff Wells. He died a hero, right? Ask anyone. Everybody says he's a hero. But I'm just saying, I got a job to do. I don't want to lose it. Nobody wants to lose a job because it's not easy to find a new job in Sharpwood, right? So, sure. Uh, <clears throat> the money's right there in front of your nose. Don't bother with the change. Okay. Mr. Nash, I... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say that you, you don't need to call Mr. Summers. I mean, he'll be yelling at me either way. I deserve it, right? <laughs> I'm oh, just, sweetie. Uh, mm. Oh, by the way, those uh, cigars you asked about? Mm, uh, Caesars, right? Mr. Summer said we normally don't have them in stock, but we can order them. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks or so, but what's a couple of weeks when it's a quality product, right? I remember one day I was looking at... God. <laughs> yeah, he talks when nervous. I don't know how long I'll be staying. Poor thing. Oh, I... Uh, I hope. I, I mean, I hope that you won't be leaving too soon. You're like our best customer. Oh, or at least one of our best customers, am I right? I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Lots of folks are leaving, even This Pat style Charlie is so left, cool. And he's even older than you. I, he's 90 or something. Maybe even 100. I, I, I mean, I, I'm sure you'll find yourself a decent job, right? <laughs> I'm... I mean, have a good, 
Good day, Mr. Nash. <laughs> He's so nervous. This is the police. Two. Got it. I should have probably played number one before going into this, but I didn't, so. Hey, Lily. So we're getting rid of this thing tomorrow? Bitch, uh, no. What? We do what? That drawing thing in the hall. We're taking it down tomorrow? I already called Uncle Dimitri. He'll cart it off for us. Hey, might even get a couple of bucks Whoa. for it. First, it's not a drawing. It's a tapestry, okay? A beautiful work of art. You didn't notice, did you? Second, it's hanging there for a reason. And third, and most important... Oh, oh, you mean that drawing in the hall. Great. I'll get a hanger tomorrow so we can put the TV up there. Tomorrow. <laughs> maybe a VCR, too. W what do you think? Jesse, we are <laughs> love not that taking down the tapestry. TV? That's not a bad idea. Sure, but I was thinking, well, you know, I... Thought we could put a snack machine here. Oh, yeah, I'm tired of having to drive 20 minutes over to Bad Ears gas station for smoked cheese in the middle of work. <laughs> like I've got nothing better to do, right? As if I, uh... <laughs> you see how much space that giant thing takes up? We can put a TV up, an arcade oh, game, probably even a pinball machine. I feel bad for Lily. Speaking of which... Whoever the fuck she is. I feel bad for her. Dairy, so we've got an extra VCR. Only thing is, he took all his videotapes with him. So we oh, no. Tapes are no problem. I've got lots of tapes. Plus, if we tell the guys that everyone's bringing in a couple of movies, then we... Oh, look, oh. I just need you... Hey, what kind of movies you got? Oh, my oh, God. Shorts. Bloody Shirt, Bloody Shirt 2, Bloody Shirt 3, Bloody Shirt 4, Hard Boiled Women, Demons on Fifth Avenue. Ooh. And you got that movie where this pilot is flying around the earth, but he's running out of fuel over the ocean, so oh. he makes a deal with Satan, and oh, yeah? Satan sends him to fight an army of skeletons. That sounds skeleton interesting. General, you Damn. Can't Fuck with him. Yeah, God damn. That's the wind blows into hell. One of my favorites. <laughs> I'd like to see saying, that. <laughs> that's every man's favorite movie. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Guess I'm a man. When I saw him at the end, when the girl throws the sword into the fire, my heart jumped out of my chest. Betty almost needed to call the ambulance. I, I swear <laughs> to God. You need to take better care of yourself, old man. I've also got this movie. It's actually a cartoon, but it's for adults, you know? This guy gets you know. the ability to undress people with his mind. So he goes into work, and he works in a bank, and his boss is a real bitch. But the bitch has some great boobs, and she calls him over to <laughs> tomorrow. We'll just discuss it tomorrow. And she says there's some problem. Oh, Lily, I'm so sorry <laughs> that you have to deal with these people. The hell, Gail? Sit down and get ready to type. We agreed. Lily, yeah, Gail. We'll finish that damn letter of yours tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll even. Gail, take off your stupid hat and get back to your desk. I'm the sheriff and you'll do what I say. I'm the sheriff. Jesus. Lily, you do know you don't have to be such a bitch, right? She's fed up because nobody will listen to her. I understand. That here's gas station closes in half an hour. So if we don't finish this stupid letter in the next 10 minutes, I'll be out of smokes until the morning. And if that happens, I'll be coming into work in a bad mood tomorrow. I literally couldn't if care less, Gal. to work in a bad mood, Just I... Just shut up and type. Okay, okay. I'm ready. And for God's sake, let's stop taking half an hour on every sentence, okay? First, read what you've got so far. Of course, we won't be able to pay you serious money. It's like we won't be able to pay you anything at all. But I hope that you feel the same as me, that the safety of our native town of Sharpwood is a question of duty and honor and not of <laughs> oh material God. gain. No, no, not just the last sentence. Read everything from the beginning. Oh God, Lily, please. On, Read it from the top. Uh. Dear Captain Carter, <laughs> I imagine you've already heard the sad news that has prompted me to write you. I'll be frank. This letter you're holding is a plea for help. The police department of Sharpwood All right. was deprived. That's enough. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. We'll just pick up where we left off. Do you think Captain Carter will even read this? <laughs> nope, Billy. Let's just finish it. And then... They got him. The guy from the flower shop, remember? No. He's one of the neckties. Oh, I'm really? sure this time... Where are they taking him? Are they bringing him here? They already did. He's here. What? Did he have the goods on him? Has he said anything? What What does he know? Well, you want to find out? Or are you just going to sit there?
Well, I guess we're going. Hmm. What happened to him? Well, as far as I understand, he had a hard time getting into the car. <laughs> <laughs> right. Didn't like getting out of the car either. Oh. And he really didn't like the stairs. And when we handcuffed him, wow, that was no fun at all. And then when he sat down on a chair, he accidentally... Cut the shit, Charlie. <laughs> what? The sheriff asked the direct question, and I'm trying... Get out! All of you! Lily, I think it'd be best if you just... What's the problem, Gail? Isn't it best if the sheriff interrogates important suspects? Isn't it great when the commander takes a personal interest in the work? Don't you think? Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, you hear that? Let's get out of here. Oh, I feel her pain. She is so pissed off at everybody in that fucking workspace. Nobody's taking her seriously. Oh no, I'm starting to talk like a Minnesotan. <laughs> she probably she's probably new too. Oh, that makes it even worse. She's probably new and they don't take her seriously because she's new and she probably has been working with them for a while as a regular cop or I don't know how cops work, <laughs> but still, she's probably been working there for a while. So they know her and they don't take her seriously because they know her so well. Ugh, small town problems. <laughs> so I guess we're starting off the conversation because Mr. Wally Melton doesn't want to fucking talk. You're from around here, right? I'm sure you heard Sheriff Wells got killed. So what do you know about it? I know it was somebody in your gang that murdered Sheriff Wells. Just tell me who pulled the trigger and maybe I'll let you go. You and your friends lured Sheriff... Sh Sharp Ward Sheriff into an ambush and killed him like a bunch of cowards. Yeah, that's right. You and your necktie gang. Can you even imagine how hard you were coming down on... Do you, can you even imagine how hard we're coming down on you? Let's go with that one. Even if, even if I knew what you were talking about, I wouldn't tell you nothing. <laughs> How about a kiss? All the cops got a, around here got sweet lips like you. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, let's talk about something else. The drugs. Where do you keep them? I'm not leaving here until you tell me where your hideout is. As I understand it, you never keep the drugs at your base. Why is that? Why do you think I'm going to talk to you? You can't even put two and two together. You even finished school. Maybe you should have a little cooking class or something. Fuck you. You could at least hide the suitcase. What? Oh, this? It's just Charlie. Shut your trap and get ready to question the suspect. <laughs> Jesus. Lily, I just want... I just want you to... You do understand, Gail, that this will soon be over. All of this. You understand that, right? It's know, never going to be over. Lily. I know. It's just the beginning of the game. It's never going to be over. I need to finish writing that letter to Captain Carter. Oof. I like the character design in this game. It's really nice. No, don't. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, we're done. Okay. <laughs> That's a weird pause there. But I really do like the character design in this game. You get the sense of what their characters are like, but it's realistic. And not over the top and dramatic and stuff. The fuck is it? Hello. My name is Bogdan. Are you satisfied with your water supply system? Supply? I bet you're not. I am here to solve your problem. I, uh, 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 excuse me, what? It's not so nice to run to the toilet outside in the cold, is it? Especially at our age. You go once, you go twice, and by then you've already frozen your butt off. <laughs> and it's lucky it's the only thing you've frozen off. <coughs> Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And you know what I'm talking about too, don't you? Uh, look, listen, this isn't 
my house. I'm just renting it. All the better. So the homeowner will pay for everything, while you will enjoy the new toilet in warmth and comfort. Are you? Uh, oh. Are you, are oh. Are you okay. Selling toilets? You sell toilets at night? Don't be silly. We'll replace your whole water system. A new toilet in the house is, well, it's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> You're right, I'm here a little after hours. Uh, Mr. Um, well, you see, <laughs> our farm is just taking its first steps in this business, so I can only visit my customers after I'm done with my day job. But a toilet inside your house is doubly good at night, right? <laughs> Do understand your needs, sir. I myself have to run to the toilet outside for 20 years every night. But when I finally got a toilet inside my house, I... Please, go. Just... just go. Oof. I want you to leave. I know what you're thinking. God, just leave! In such a small house, there's simply no room for a toilet. But I assure you, if you just allow me to come in for a moment... Leave right now. I'm asking you to leave. I just want to save both of us some time, that's all. I know that you'll change your mind. The next time you need to go in the middle of the night, you'll remember me and think, damn, that guy was right. A toilet in the house is what every adult man needs. So, why don't I've we... asked you to leave. You need to leave. Now. Leave. All right, all right. But I bet you won't last a week before you change your mind. I'm <laughs> Just telling you right slowly now, close the door on him. Last a week. That's ominous. You won't last a week, huh? Before he's dead? Before he freezes to death? <laughs> what are you insinuating? Oh, okay, okay. You good? You good, boy? You good? You good? Nick, what's your name? <sighs> Bitch, you work yourself up way too easily. Then again, I understand. I'm paranoid as fuck. I sit right next to a big window, which I hate. Ooh, what we playing? Ooh, whiskey? Ah, uh, yeah, whiskey or scotch or something. Hard liquor. Write that letter. Oh, okay, we're writing that letter. Dear Dylan, Oliver, and Edgar, I'd give anything to be sitting with you on the porch of our old house, smoking a cigar, talking and passing the day. I know you have a lot of questions for me. A lot of unpleasant questions. It's not hard to hear them in my head, but it won't be so easy to find the right answers. Is it true what they're saying about you? My only crime was waiting, wanting to take care of myself and my family. I'm sorry it took me that long. That one sounds better. So, we're going with that one. Why did you flee from Freeburg? I ran because I didn't want to, I didn't want to be killed in prison. I know so much about every influential scoundrel in the city that they would never let me live to see the, my day in court. It's not that I ran away. I just needed time to regroup so I could go back and clear my name. Sometimes retreat is the only way to victory. I don't, I don't know much about what happened in the this is the police one, so this one sounds better and less threatening. Why did mom really leave? Sally, your grandmother once told me I'm too old, that I don't have any energy, and that's why Laura left. I didn't really understand what she meant all that time, but now it seems to me that she hit the nail on the head and my dog's awake. 
because she decided she wanted to fuck some 30-year-old insurance agent, and I hope he gave her exactly what she wanted. That just sounds like him as a character. I don't know him that well, but that just sounds like him. Did you have an affair on the side, too? It was your mother who had the affair. Everything that happened to me later was just an amusement. A naive love fantasy that never became a reality. In any case, it's over. My amusement wants to put me in jail. I wouldn't say that. For one thing, your mother had already left. And it's strange to call a relationship between two people an affair if they only talked on the phone and never met. I mean, true. Why did you get in bed with the Mafia? Oh? I got them- I got in- I got in with them because the Mafia can't be defeated, only controlled. And looking at how well I control crime in Freeburg, I'd say I manage things pretty well. I didn't go to them, they left me no choice. When they threaten to hang your children's head from a chandelier, you'll do exactly what they ask you. No hesitation, no questions. That- that's just a little bit too real. <laughs> Did you kill people? I didn't kill anyone with my own two hands, but I gave orders that led to many deaths. Sometimes these were bad people, sometimes not so much. It's up to you whether you want to think that it makes me a killer or not. Never killed anyone. I have many vices, but I'm no killer. How is your health? I'm not complaining, but I'm lonely. I'm afraid I'm not going to make any new friends here. Either way, new friends at my age doesn't lead anywhere. Except another funeral. I feel good despite parting with your mother, fleeing from feds, and surviving two comas. One thing I know for sure is I won't survive a third. <laughs> that sounds like a dad thing to say. Why didn't you just retire? I catch criminals. That's all I know. It's all I'm good at. I didn't retire because I loved my job and I wasn't too old to keep doing it. Well, because I had nothing else to do. All I had left was an empty house and a dirty barn. What was I going to do? Farming? All my tools are rust had lo all my tools rusted a long time ago. After a week of retirement like that, I had to pull a bullet in my forehead. <laughs> that mm, that seems way too real. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid I'll be caught, locked in a cage, and put on display like a circus freak, and the only power I'll have left to bash in my skull against the bars of my cells. I'm afraid that I won't have a chance to clear my name or even explain myself before the law, before Freeburg, and most importantly, before you. You deserve an explanation the most. That's why I'm writing this letter. What are you planning on doing next? I've changed a lot. Through predictability, though predictability is still not among my vices, I know I have to do something. The only question is how far I'll have to go. I can't tell you. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just that even I don't know what I'll have to decide in ten seconds from now. This one sounds more poetic. So we'll go with that one. Oh, okay, we're done with the questions. Got it. Oh, he's sending money too. Such a good dad. Ooh, what you listening to, Lily? Ah, we could hardly shut the guy up. He wasn't so tough. I didn't even get to the phase three. <laughs> phase three is where we I'm don't have a lot of time. They're moving their headquarters, but we should be able to nab most of them if we hurry. It's north of here, the old summer camp. But they never keep the goods at their headquarters. They always use a different place, usually an isolated house on the outskirts. Most of the time, these Sounds places have smart. random tenants who don't even suspect that there's anything hidden under their floorboards. That way, the drugs can never be linked back to the neckties or the neckties to the drugs. Smart. You remember smart. that little drink. tavern called Forsetti? We went drinking there after graduation and broke that big mirror. Mr. Blaine's converted it into a house, and now he rents it out for almost nothing. Okay. Two weeks ago, an old man moved in. Oh, no. And under his floorboards, there's 27 kilograms of heroin. Damn. I'm starting to think that guy is leading us around by the nose. Probably. I bet there's four or five armed guards at the house. But you said it's a small place, right? Well, I bet there's two at least. Jesus. I don't believe they just left the stuff under some old man's floorboards. Even if there is an old man living there, I bet he's in on it. 
Hey, maybe old man is just a nickname. What do you Charlie, think? you need to I shut up. The right cutthroat, hunkered down there, ready to ambush us. Maybe he already. Well, you and Corey, <gasps> go check it out. Take two cars in case it's not just an old man living in the house. Whoever you find there, bring them in. Oh and no. And don't forget about the heroin. Oh no. The rest of you will come with me to storm their headquarters. Oh no. All good to you, Lily. Oh. I feel bad for Lily. I really do. Drug trafficking. All the events require your attention are displayed. Okay. Oh, I have to hold it down. Okay. Each call has a minimum of professionalism required to ensure that your cops can go and call their overall professional. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I hear. Fletcher and Bellow. Let's go. Oh, this is so cool. Oh. <laughs> I, d I know it's like nothing, but it looks cool. Little tiny minimalistic models. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, okay, we're here. Oh, oh, lagging a little bit. Uh. <laughs> Where the fuck's my gun? the goods oh they just didn't bother or are we missing something what do you think Corey think we're missing something huh is there some kind of special meaning to the fact that we've got drunk dirty grandpa here sitting in the shack watching the goods maybe we need to crack the code here huh well any ideas where they hid the powder how about you look around while where I... they hid the powder <laughs> while I interrogate the suspect huh I don't like Charlie. I really don't. <laughs> you. What's your name, old man? Boy. What did you say, old man? You need to answer nice and clear when a police officer speaks to you. My name is uh, Nash. Warren Nash. I'll tell you something, Warren Nash. Fifteen years on the force. I've seen all sorts of dirty shits. This town isn't exactly upscale, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> Damn, okay. Caught thieves, caught rapists, murderers, and drug traffickers. All part of the job, you know? I'm doing my job. Nice and easy, like a professional. But here you are. This, this filth, you're, you don't make it easy to be easy. Filth like you drives me up the wall. With scum like you, I can't, Jesus. I, I just can't keep up the cold-blooded professional attitude. Why, why is I, the camera shaking? What, what's what happening? Warren? Because, oh, I'm sorry, Warren. I'll be just a second, all right? the fucking phone Just look for the fucking drugs while I'm busy with the fucking suspect okay so Warren filthy things like you you drive me nuts because you think that we'll never catch up with you you think the police oh God, the camera's going at it again oh no cats from trees and help old old ladies carry their bags up to the porch you you think you believe you really really believe that we'll never get to you so you don't even have to try you taking good care of the goods here, Warren? You ready for us here, Warren? Just waiting in ambush, Warren? You did fucking nothing, Warren! Fucking nothing! Because you thought we'd never come. But here I am, Warren. I hate you, here Charlie. I am. 
What are you gonna do now, Warren? What's the big plan, Warren? Hey, I think I found something. You hear that, Warren? He found something. Next time, hide it better. Ow! Well, this looks like 27 keys of heroin to you? I... I would say there's somewhere between 26 and 28 keys. Well, well, th well, that sounds like 27, right? <sighs> yep. Yep, looks like 27. So what are we thinking here? You load it up in the car and I'll pack up the old man. And any of this other junk we might need. Poor thing. I don't think he knew about this. I really don't. Uh... I mean, I don't know anything that leads up to this, but I don't think he knew about it. Uh, I'd like, uh, I need, uh, I, I really need to talk to the sheriff as soon as possible. I'm Sheriff Reed. You can talk all you like, but if I were you, I'd wait for my lawyer, Mr. Nash. I don't, uh. You... you said you're the sheriff? That's what I said. I... Uh, no, no. I'm just... I, are you Sharpwood, Sheriff? I'm the sheriff. You, uh... you could... do you have the authority to... Look, I'm wearing a shiny star on my chest. I'm sitting here in the middle of the night, and even though I'm exhausted, I'm poring over murder files that no one else wants to bother with. So yeah, I'm the sheriff. I may not be used to all this, and I'm not sure I ever will be, but I don't have another sheriff for you, Mr. Nash. You might as well accept it. Listen, Sheriff... Uh, sheriff Reed, right? Great, Sheriff Reed. Uh, I, I need to talk to the sheriff, and, and you're the sheriff, so... It's even better. I, I mean, older sheriffs sometimes... Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that. I, uh... <laughs> I just want to say that there's been a mistake. And I want to help you out here because I... Yeah, because... There uh, was a huge batch of cocaine hiding in your house. You want me to believe you didn't know anything about it? I rent that house. Only lived there a couple of weeks. And you... You know all that, right? It's easy to check, huh? Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, but but that's not important. It's, it's not that I... Uh, I I'm trying... Listen, Sheriff Reed, you you have to listen to me very carefully. I'm a policeman, just like you, you know? Oh, so you must be undercover. Is that it, Mr. Nash? No, 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 that's... It's much more complicated than that. M my name isn't Warren Nash. I, yeah, I already knew that. Your fake documents are so bad, they practically fell apart in my hands. If, you, if you let me explain, I... Would you like to see my real document, Sheriff? Look, that humidor, you see it? What? That little box, the, the little wooden box on the table, see? Looks like a jewelry box. It's locked. We'll crack it open in the morning. Oh, wouldn't you rather open it now? Please, <laughs> Sheriff Reed, let's open it <laughs> My bitch, it now. I have the key, take it! I'll try to explain everything. I'm in a very difficult situation, and I'm asking you to listen to me. Just open the box and you'll find my passport in there. My real passport. My name's Jack Boyd. The documents that say I'm Warren Nash, I bought them for 90 bucks at the rail station. Please, just open the box and I'll explain everything, please. You say you were a cop, huh? Yes, 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 I, I was a cop. I, I was the chief of police, just like you. Look, it's a very long and complicated story, but I I assure you, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. A and the fact that I've gone into hiding here, the fact that I'm here at all, it's, uh, it's an injustice that I want to correct. And I'm asking you to help me. Hmm. Hmm. Long pauses will be the death of me. <laughs> so 
Sheriff, Sheriff Reed, let's talk. I'm begging you. No, oh, God. <laughs> Nani? Nani the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. Sheriff Reed, let me. Do you even know what you've been accused of, Mr. Mr. Boyd? I. Let, let's just say I. I don't know if you know what happened in Freeburg last winter. I don't! It had nothing to do with the law or justice. I was used. You and I... do understand that I have to report you to the feds, right, Mr. Boyd? Sheriff Reed, if you do this, you. You just continue this. I think. I believe that cops should help each other, so. I just want to say. You seem like the kind of person We've who... known each other for five minutes, Mr. Boyd. I doubt very much that I've made any impression on you at all. Whatever you've got yourself mixed up in, I hope that... I hope that you find justice. So, if that's really what you want. But for now... But while I... For now, all I know is this. You're a criminal, and they're looking for you. Oh, dear. Your... Your folder. Your folder. That's a case file. Can, can I see it? Excuse me? I worked as a detective for years. Even when I was chief, I did half of my detective's work. If you... If you're having trouble with the case, I'm sure I can help. Cops should help each other. My exact words, right? <laughs> you think... You you think that I... Listen, Sheriff Reed, what do you have to lose? You're the head of this police department. You've got to think rationally. I'm not trying to teach you how to do your work. I'm just... Well, just for a minute, forget about all that, the other. This whole awkward situation, okay? Right? You have an unsolved murder, and there's someone standing right in front of you who's offering to help. Maybe I'm an imposter, and I can't actually do anything. Maybe I'll even turn out to be a lunatic, scatter the file around the cell, and dance around like a wild monkey. But maybe, <coughs> just maybe, I really am an experienced cop who can help you find your killer. Don't you want that? Don't you want to give me a chance since you've got nothing to lose? Don't you want a real criminal in prison, not some sorry victim of circumstance like me? That's police work. Catching the real criminals, right? <sighs> God. I guess I'm going crazy. <laughs> Yay. Checkpoint. <laughs> this game is really good. Uh, the only thing I have a problem with so far is um, Nick's voice actor. He doesn't. He, he's definitely putting on a voice, but his he. It's a good voice. Don't get me wrong. It's just there's not a lot of wide variety of emotion with it, and it kind of makes me sad. <sighs> anyway. Uh, to solve the crime, you'll need to reconstruct the pictures of what happened by placing the frames for the crime key in the right order. Okay. Prop. Oh, proceed. Sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. To figure out what happened, you should carefully examine the evidence and the witness testimony. You have all the necessary frames, but two people are suspected of murder. Uh, you need to find out the evidence. What's true and what's not. Okay. Uh, Ruth Finnegar, victim's wife. I was at the neighbor's to borrow some salt. I heard on their TV that there was some crazy maniac started killing in Ripton. The journalist nicknamed him the wrestler because he wears a wrestling mask. Mask. I usually don't pay any attention to the news, but this time I remembered because I, as I was leaving, I noticed a Latino man in the street with a big sports bag, and he was just taking off a mask. I just got home and there's blood everywhere, and Bob is nowhere to be found. You think that maniac came all the way from out here for Ripton? Katrina Slush... 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 Kari, slu no, I can't do that. No, I'm so sorry. Katrina Slusraki... The, the neighbor. 
<laughs> that evening, Ruth came over to borrow some salt. It's funny she works at the grocery store, but she's always missing something. She sat at my place for a while and then said she was going to go back to make some dinner for Bob. I don't know how she put up with him. A typical man. He's always walked around in that stupid t-shirt, spent all the whole day staring at the TV, and yelled for Ruth to bring him another frosty. I went to visit often enough. And it was always the same thing. Recently, Ruth decided to try to be a vegetarian. She had read in a magazine that it'll make you live an extra ten years, plus you get to lose a few pounds. So she started cooking without meat, being beginning with vegetable soup. Thought she'd surprise Bob, but when he came home from work, he was yelling, "Where the fuck? What? What the fuck is with with, with, with without the meat? I live next door, and I could hear everything. They almost got into a fight." victim's home bathroom the bathroom is covered in blood it looks like this is where the victim's corpse was butchered store counter the victim's body parts were neatly laid out on the counter as if it were a display set out for all to see there was a crumpled garbage bag under the counter with traces of blood inside and a medical examiner the victim's throat was cut in Thank you. Cut in one single confident motion. Death came almost instantly. There was no signs of struggle in the body and the corpse was dismembered after death. Okay. Man in a wrestling match. So the victim's wife or the man in a wrestling match. Huh? Sorry. There was a bug on me. So basically, we're going between Katrina and Ruth. The secret of the forbidden flesh. So it, uh, she works at a grocery store. Gro grocery, Ruth. Uh, she works at a grocery store. And so it ends with just member corpse in the... That would make more so for this one. Just saying. Hmm. Like, this makes sense. So, Bob Finnegan's wife, she killed her husband to escape her unhappy marriage. The last straw was her, his criticism of her soup. Ruth decided to kill her husband and make it look like, hmm. I'm like, it makes sense, but also at the same time, why would he break into that? I don't fucking know. Does this one also kind of make sense? But... I don't, I don't know. The elusive maniac named the wrestler who kills a middle-aged white man dismembers them and places them on public display. Like, they both make sense, but there's not enough evidence to have a clear consensus of what is what. Does that make any sense? An indict. Hi, my stupid is showing through. What the fuck does indict mean? <laughs> I'm googling it. Sorry. Indict. What does this mean? Basically accuse. Okay, okay. Um, I don't have enough evidence on both of them to get a clear case. So Ruth works at a grocery store. Yeah. Ruth works at a grocery store, according to Katrina. She works at the grocery store, but she's always missing something. But what is her job at the grocery store? Is she the butcher? She started cooking without meat. Oh. 
was butchered. Yeah, so butchering is a whole thing here. Laid out on the counter as if we're on display for all to see. Crumpled garbage bag under the counter with traces of blood. Okay. Victim's throat was cut in a single confident motion. Almost instantly, no sign of a struggle. Okay, I'm thinking it's Ruth mostly because of how she... It's just kind of... Do you really... Yep. Let's go with that one. Look. What am I looking at? Hello? Such long pauses. Lily, are you there? No. Lily! <laughs> Gail, shut up. Lily here. Come in. Can you grab the box of flashbang grenades and get over here? There's no time to lose. Lily! Copy. I'm on my way. Oh no, did I do it wrong? Did I did I just fuck up that thing entirely? Whoopsie! <laughs> Whoopsie daisy! I fucked up. Probably. So? I'm not seeing anything. Lily, it's time. Yes, just let me look at the plan. <sighs> Lily, we've got everything covered. Gail, I need to take a look at the plan. Gail, mm. the plan? Lily, do you want to look at the plan or do you want to change the plan? I need to see the plan before I decide whether I need to change it. Jesus. Gail? <sighs> she is so pissed off at, like, the world right now. It's kind of obvious she doesn't want her job right now. But she's doing it and nobody is agreeing with that she's in charge. Ugh. Things to do in Terry, get the necktie, get all the information available, outfit and assign your strike team. Usual, it takes several days to plan out an assault, but this time Gail had to stretch it out and uh, plan it in a hurry. Thanks. Good. Maybe you want to change something. Uh, gather intel, assign cops. Gather intel. Oh, okay. At every position, there has to be a cop with an appropriate skills to do or the equipment necessary for the assault. Is that a cop for the assault? Carefully consider your intel. Outside area, main entrance, assault leader. Gil will be leading the assault. He wants to capture as many nectiles. nectiles. Uh, Gil knows that no one... Okay. Gil wants to put a quick cop under the side of the car. Wash, so no. Mm. Okay, so. Okay, that, okay. So Hodges. Negotiation is good, so. Negotiation is really good on him, too. Shooting, not so much. You can't shoot for shit. You are basically the best there is. So assault leader might be you. Main entrance, a oh, well-trained gunman. I guess you'll be the assault leader. Okay, and the sand cops. Okay. Okay. Stealthy, agile. And clever. Okay, you're intelligent. So. 
clever it is for you. So between agile and stealth. You both have stealth. You have speed. You don't have speed. So. Uh, probably you and you. Okay. Anything else? Proceed. I keep forgetting I have to hold things. I don't know. Made sense to me. Don't know if it's gonna do anything. Yes, let's get him over here. Someone needs to go get Canaan. Does that Canaan. Know Canaan lives? Jesse, grab that blue bag over there. Bring it over here. I'll call him. Bring me that bag. I'll call Canaan. The bag, Jesse. Jesus, Jesse, we don't have time for that. Bring me that bag. No, 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 come on. Jesus. Lily, put pressure here. Press there and you don't let him. Make it? You think he'll make it? Is that one of ours? I can't tell. Is this one of ours or a necktie? We need to put something under his head. He's dead, <laughs> Lily. Lily. He's dead. Oh. Gail's dead. No, Gail! Now you can call Kanaean. I think I fucked up. <laughs> Whoops. <coughs> Oops, today is a Gail's dad. Sorry. Yeah, he probably shouldn't have been leader. Ooh. But he didn't have very many good skills. He's just. Mm. What was his name? No. Oh. I, mean, I mean, the deceased officer. What's his name? Gail Greenberg. Rest in peace, Gail. Were you close? No, but... No. Oh. We... We went to school together. You've known him for a long time. Sheriff Reed, I... Sheriff Reed. Ha! Sheriff Reed. If my dad could hear you say that, he died of laughter. Oh. He'd laugh like a madman, choke on his favorite meatballs even. Sheriff Reed. Call me Lily. Nobody takes her seriously. My aunt lived in Freeburg. She, she sold flowers. Had her own store, a little shop. My mother and I used to visit during the summer. You have warm summers there. Warmer than here. Anywhere's warmer than here. <laughs> so, what happened in Freeburg, Mr. Boyd? It's, that's a very, uh, I'm sorry, F forgive me, Lily. I, I begged you for a chance to tell you everything, and now I don't know where to start. You were slandered? You could say that. So you aren't guilty of anything? I, uh, I'm plenty guilty, but... But not what I've been accused of. I was just a fool. A blind fool. Hmm. You're right, Mr. Boyd. Uh, I'm sorry? The sheriff's job is to think rationally. I figured I might be a shit cop, but at least I can think rationally. Now I'm... Now I'm... Not so sure. Lily, listen to me. You aren't guilty of anything. I've been a police chief going on 13 years, and I can't say that I never, I, uh... Doubted anything. Let's just say it's a difficult job. It gets complicated. And to put you in this position, it was, uh... I just want to say don't that... Don't be shy, Mr. Boyd. I don't make much of a sheriff. Is that what you wanted to say? Because I completely agree with you. <laughs> Lily, listen to me. I'm a policeman. Whatever position I'm in now, whatever this is... Whatever my official status, I'm still a policeman. I'm a policeman and I know how to do this job. And I will help you. Cops should help each other. Isn't that what we were talking about earlier? That's what Don't you were you talking about me? earlier. Oh, God, Lily. Okay. <laughs> What was it you said, Mr. Boyd? 
Maybe you're an imposter, maybe you're crazy, but, but maybe, maybe you, I, honestly, I don't even know if I... Lily, why are you pointing that gun at me? Precaution. Can I get out of this cage? Lily? Yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes, you can get out of the cage. Oh. Her job must be so hard right you, now. Uh, you want me she's... to... Well, I, I guess I'm asking. You want me to get to work? What is it you want me to do exactly? You can get some sleep in the break room. It's over there to the left, the dark green door. I'll still be here in the morning, and in the morning we, in the morning we, well, should, we'll figure this out. She shouldn't be alone right now. Tomorrow you can gather up your things, Mr. Boyd. Yes, I just, uh, uh, this letter, I, I'd like to send it as soon as possible. This, uh, it's for my children. It's important. I can mail it for you. I, I, I don't mind. I, I've got a letter to mail myself. Lily, uh, I wanted what? to... No, God. I want to know if I'm going to call the feds? No, I won't call the feds. Do I realize that means I'm breaking the law? Yeah, I know. Do I understand that you could make a run for it at any time? Yeah, I know that too. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> That line could have been read so differently. He sounded way too happy for the circumstance. It probably should have been, I'll see you in the morning. Come on. Uh, I should probably stop here. I don't know if there's like, I just hit a, yeah, okay. <laughs> I should probably stop here. I don't want to actually spend too long on these episodes, but I know that this is a long game and I don't want to just... <laughs> spend all day here so um if you guys like this i'll do a part two if not i'll finish this game on my own time maybe stream it if you guys are interested i don't know um yeah <coughs> we never speak of that anyway if you liked what you just watched feel free to click or tap here and it will take you to the latest video on my channel or you can let the youtube algorithms choose a video it thinks you'll like magic and of course, you can click or tap over here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Come join the cult! We're always open to new members. <laughs> Anywho, I hope to see you all soon. Peace out. Bye-bye!